Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Doreen and thank you so much for those who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for the feedback that you have given from the videos that I've shared. I've basically only shared two videos. One for the get, uh, just an introductory video and then the other one for the money mistakes that I have made. Thank you so much for the love that you have shown the video of money mistakes for the feedback that you have given uh, for all the changes that you are making in your finances as per yesterday there were 131 views on the uh, mistakes that I've made about money that video and how you can you know avoid them and I'm really really so happy that 131 of you guys have watched the video and most of you have shared your feedback with me uh, if you haven't shared your feedback, you can comment in the comment. There's a comment section below, so you can go there and comment. Some of you have shared with me the mistakes that you have made, and yeah, so I'm really happy to have added value into your life. I'm really excited. I don't know if you can hear me very well. It's raining outside. I'm trying to scream, but thank you so much for watching my videos. Today's video is going to be a get to know me video, so I'm going to be reading my. I'm going to I got some questions uh, to help me with this segment yeah so I'm going to be reading the question and then answer it for you how many siblings do you have I have 10 amazing siblings and I'm super proud of each and every one of them I'm glad and happy to be part of this family what is your favorite color my favorite color is red like you can see I'm wearing red yeah so my favorite color is red and comment down below what your favorite color is yeah mine is red would you ever choose to be a child again so this is a yes and no question for me uh yes because guys adulting is really hard adulting is tough no because i wouldn't have experienced all the experiences i have i wouldn't have learned like I wouldn't be thinking like the way I'm thinking now because of the experiences I've had, uh, the situations I've gone through that have strengthened me and made me a better person. Uh, maybe the lives that have been touched because of my life or me directly impacting them. So if I was still a child, I wouldn't have done all that. Yeah, so it's a yes and no question. So if you were asked the same question, what would your answer be guys? Let the comment section be buzzing today, guys. As you watch this video, comment on each and every question. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I'm a little bit of both, depending on where I am, but I think I'm mostly an introvert. Yeah, so I'm mostly an introvert, but I can be a little bit of both. Uh, my friends will tell you I'm an extrovert, then other people will tell you I'm an introvert, so that is it. I'm a little bit of both. What are the three things that you think about almost every day? So the three things that I think about almost every day, one of them is business and money making. Yeah, so mostly I think about what business I can do, uh, how much money I should be making, uh, what is my net worth, like money related things, like what can I do to grow my finances. Another thing that I think about is what are the foods that I can eat and want that I can eat and do not grow fat? It's a daily struggle, guys. It's a daily struggle. Yeah, but I think about that often. But I recently started a workout routine and uh, portion. Is it called portion eating or something like that? I started it yesterday. Yeah, I want to see how it goes. So yeah, that's what I'm, I'm doing right now. And another thing that I think about every day. Is of course the devotion that I've had in the morning yeah so today morning I read Psalms 23 verse 1 and 2 yeah so I'll think about that for the rest of the day what is the most unusual thing you have eaten the most unusual thing I have eaten is crocodile meat my friends enjoyed it but I took a bite or two guys I was like, you know what? I think this is not made for me. Yeah, so the most unusual thing I've eaten is crocodile meat. What is your favorite childhood memory? One of my favorite childhood memories is coming back from school, especially when I was in high school. I was in boarding. So coming back from school, 
and uh, sitting at the balcony with my dad as we talked about school wars uh, then I would tell him everything that went on at school that was one of my favorite moments as a child you know to sit with dad I would work so hard so that I'd be among like the first ten or the first five so that I take a good report home and go through that experience again how would your friends describe you so this question goes to my friends so each and every one of my friends if you've met me if you've interacted with me if you've been my friend for quite some time how would you describe me i'm going to leave that to you guys you because i want to see uh what impact i have had on your life yes yeah, so i'm going to leave that question to you how would you describe me guys how would you describe me uh another question is do you like surprises why and why not yes I love surprises but I am almost never surprised like I always know I always sense that there's something going on yes yeah, so I like them but I'm almost always never surprised what is the last book you read and what is the current book you're reading so the last book I read is straightforward financial growth by Moses Mukisa if you've not yet read that book please go and read it buy it and read it it's a very good book about personal finances and the next book or the current book I'm reading that I'm going to finish today is show your work by Austin Kleon also a very amazing book in especially if you want to put your work out there if you want to and this this is actually not negotiable like we are in the digital era we are in the social media spaces so you have to show your work people have to see your work people have to see what you're working on for you to be able to go to the next level yes yeah, so that's the book i'm reading right now show your work by austin klein who is your favorite author so right now my favorite author is uh mark butterson he wrote a book called the circle maker he wrote another one called chasing the lion and so much more but the circle maker blessed me so so much that is so far my favorite book i've read uh, it's about prayer it's about seeking god it's about you know all those intimate things that are fundamental like it, it's about fundamentals yeah that you need in your life for you to be able to prosper yeah so that's mark butterson is my favorite author uh, what is your biggest fear my biggest fear is not to fulfill my purpose on earth so every day i work towards being the best version of myself or whatever i'm working on i make sure i give it my best so that you know when we go to heaven god would be like well done good and faithful servant you know yeah so one of my that is my greatest fear guys i don't know what your greatest fear is comment down below what your greatest fear is yeah so that is it for now if you want to know anything more about me please put the questions in the comment below and I will be sure to answer them promptly um, also comment on the questions that I've done comment down below uh, what is your favorite color what books are you reading all those please comment down below thank you so much for watching uh, hope you're safe hope you're sanitizing hope you're washing your hands hope you are keeping safe guys COVID is out there to get us thank you so much, so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed there's a subscribe button a red button down there please click it and subscribe like the video share it with your friends uh, and remember progress is progress no matter how small keep moving keep growing and keep glowing thank you so much bye